Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforay.com. Today we are going to discuss 8 steps of Krebs cycle, reaction and enzyme involved within 5 to 10 minutes. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support this channel. Let's begin with the definition of Krebs cycle. Krebs cycle or citric acid cycle or TCA cycle is the second phase of aerobic cellular respiration. It's a cyclic reaction that occurs in the mitochondrial matrix where acetyl coenzyme A is oxidized forming carbon dioxide, water, ATP, NADH and FADH2. Let's move into the details of the reaction. After glycolysis what we have is pyruvate. Pyruvate enters mitochondria and forms acetyl coenzyme A. This reaction is called as Ling reaction as it connects glycolysis and Krebs cycle. In that reaction, NADH is formed and carbon dioxide is released. The reaction is oxidative decarboxylation and the enzyme involved is pyruvate dehydrogenase. So at the beginning of citric acid cycle in the step 1 oxaloacetate, a C4 compound, a carbon 4 carbon compound combines with acetyl coenzyme A which is a 2 carbon compound forming citrate or citric acid which is a 6 carbon compound and the enzyme involved is citrate synthase that is why the cycle is also called as citric acid cycle. So in the first step oxaloacetate which is a 4 carbon compound combines with acetyl coenzyme A which is a 2 carbon compound forming citric acid which is a 6 carbon compound and the reaction is condensation reaction. In step 2 citric acid is converted to isocitric acid and the enzyme involved is acontase. Actually this is a two step reaction. First citric acid is converted to cis aconitic acid which is an unstable compound by dehydration or removal of water. Then this cis aconitic acid is converted to isocitrate or isocitric acid by hydration. The enzyme involved is aconitase in both the reactions. In step 3 isocitric acid is converted to alpha ketoglutarate and the enzyme involved is isocitrate dehydrogenase. This is the step where the number of carbon is reduced carbon 5. This is carbon 6. Isocitric acid is having 6 carbon whereas alpha ketoglutarate is having 5 carbon then there will be decarboxylation or release of carbon dioxide and also dehydrogenation. Formation of NADH. This is also a two step reaction. First isocitrate is converted to oxalosaccinic acid by dehydrogenation which is an unstable compound then the doxalosaccinic acid is converted to alpha ketoglutarate by decarboxylation or removal of carbon dioxide forming a 5 carbon compound which is alpha ketoglutarate. So this is a step where the number of carbon is reduced from C6 to C5. Now in step 4 alpha ketoglutarate is converted to saxinyl coenzyme A and the enzyme involved is alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase. Here also the number of carbon atom is reduced from C5 to C4. So these are two consecutive steps where C6 is converted to C5 alpha ketoglutarate and alpha ketoglutarate C5 is converted to C4 that is saxinyl coenzyme A. And the reaction is oxidative decarboxylation. The same thing happening in step 3. The same thing is in step 4. The carbon dioxide is released. That's why the number of carbon is reduced to 4. And NADH is formed. And also coenzyme A is added. Therefore the reaction is oxidative decarboxylation. Now we have saxinyl coenzyme A. In step 5, saxinyl coenzyme A is converted to saxinate or saxinic acid. In this step, GTP is formed. This is a substrate level phosphorylation. Saxinyl coenzyme A reacts with GDP 
and it's a high energy compound and actually forming GTP and coenzyme A is released and GTP is soon converted to ATP so this is the step where ATP is formed succinyl coenzyme A is converted to succinate and the enzyme involved is succinyl coenzyme A synthetase here also succinate is a C4 compound so from succinyl coenzyme A which is a high energy compound by substrate level phosphorylation ATP is formed and succinate is also formed during the process in step 6 succinate is converted to fumarate succinic acid is converted to fumaric acid and this is a dehydrogenation reaction where FAD is converted to FADH2 and the enzyme is succinate dehydrogenase and this is the only enzyme in Krebs cycle that is located on the mitochondrial inner membrane so here it is very easy to remember FADH2 is formed during the formation of fumarate F and F then in step 7 fumarate is converted to malate by the addition of water or hydration and the enzyme is fumarase or it is also called as fumaric acid hydratase water is added now malic acid is formed and finally in step 8 malic acid or malate is converted to oxaloacetate by dehydrogenation reaction by the formation of NADH thus completing the cycle and the enzyme involved is malate dehydrogenase so this is the Krebs cycle so it is very easy to remember if we know the number of carbon atom let us recap once again a C4 compound oxaloacetate combines with a C2 compound which is acetyl coenzyme A forming citrate which is a C6 compound then in the next step then again there is a C6 compound which is isocitrate then in the third step isocitrate is converted to alpha ketoglutarate which is a C5 compound then in the next step C5 compound is converted to C4 compound whenever there is reduction of carbon number that is associated with decarboxylation and also formation of NADH then once the succinyl coenzyme A is formed which is a high energy compound that leads to the formation of ATP and also succinate in the next step and this is a step where ATP is synthesized then succinate is converted to fumarate during fumarate formation FADH2 is formed then fumarate is converted to malate it is simply a hydration reaction and then malate is converted to oxaloacetate these are actually regeneration steps and malate while forming oxaloacetate from malate NADH is formed therefore the reaction is dehydrogenation so if we know the reaction it's very easy to understand Krebs cycle and that's about Krebs cycle if you find this video useful please subscribe share and support thank you so much for your attention you are with biologyexamsforyou.com